Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to filter rows with null values in select statement in SQL Server. Let's open SSMS and connect to the SQL Server instance. Once you are connected, go to the Databases tab and then select the database where your table or views exist. I'm going to the Tech Brothers IT and then I go to Tables and I have a table called Total Sale. Right click here and select Top 1000 Rows. You can have maybe top 200 rows, that's fine. Just select uh, all the rows. I remove uh, the top part, so it is selecting every row from this uh, table. Now, in the last video we learned, uh, if we want to filter the records, uh, we use the WHERE clause. Let's say if I would like to see only the records uh, for country USA. So I have to say WHERE country equal to USA. And you notice that I have put the single quotes around the value. So USA is our value and I have put the single quotes because this is string value. So if you want to go ahead and take a look on the column, it is right here, it is var char. So if you have var char and var char and uh, char, those kind of uh, data types, uh, you have to put the single quotes uh, around your value to get that. So let's run this uh, select query. We see that we are getting the data only for uh, USA. Now, the same way if we would like to filter the records uh, for null values. Uh, so you see here null, where we, wherever we have the nulls, uh, the background is kind of yellowish. Uh, so you have yellow background here or you can say it is highlighted uh, uh, with yellow color. Uh, so there are two null values. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, use uh, the null here. So if we say where current is null, if I execute this query, I'm not returning uh, any rows. Um, so I, I'm doing this totally wrong way. I want to take you to the next level. I want to show you what exactly null means and why this is not working. So this is a where we understand that we have the null in the in, in the table, but if we will put equal to sign, it is not going to return us those records. Why? Because null is equal not equal to the null. So let's experiment that part. And here I'm saying if we have one is equal to one then begin and printer this statement is true and then we are saying else statement not true so let's run this part and see what happened you see that it is returning us true because one is equal to one now if i will do one is equal to 12 and run this the else part will be running so this is the that part and we are getting a not true so that's uh, that tells us our statement if an else part is working fine so we are going to experiment the same thing with null so here i'm saying if null is equal to null remember the same way we said one is equal to one if that is true then print me this part otherwise print me this part so let's see which part it will print so you see that it printed not true so this condition is evaluated as a false null is equal to not null that uh, that, that that's how it works so let's say you have null that means you have unknown so unknown and there is another unknown and we don't know if those two unknowns are equal to each other so null is not equal to null if you will write in this way now here the same way uh, that's that's the thing when we have null equal to null so it's uh, evaluated as a false so that's why we do not get any record so you see but if i will put one is equal to one this is true it is going to give us all the records so now we know that uh, null is not equal to null and that was the reason country if we say country equal to null we don't get any records but sometime what happened even you have uh, the values uh, that show or they look like null so let's think about that somebody has written the data and they have written the value null in the table so i'm gonna update this table say set country and equal to null so you see what i'm doing here where id is equal to four so i'm insert uh, updating uh, this country value equal to null you notice that i am putting single quotes around that means uh, i am using this null as a string like the same way i will use uh, usa or the same way i will use uh, india or pakistan so this null is not the same null what we have 
here so i'm gonna first let me update that one and show you all the results and show you the difference so what does that mean so you see here this null is in in the black so you you can totally make sense from here this is a string value but the null unknown value is highlighted with the yellow background so you see that this is the actual null or unknown values and this is a string value so if somebody put now they want to get this value they will say this null so now it will this part will be treated as string and you will get this row so there are two rows actually i have here there are duplicates so i will get two records see and they are in the black so that's uh, the string null value now if i will say null again i'm not getting those yellow nulls uh, so that's where it should return uh, but we know that null is, null is not equal to null uh, sql server has a uh, different way to handle this situation uh, sql server do not use uh, equal to not equal to signs uh, for, for the comparison of null uh, it's a when you need to get the data of where you want to check if the value is null you will say column name is uh, null so that's how you will bring those records uh. now if i will run this one this is going to get me in the null values uh, see with the yellow background uh. so that's what uh, uh, the actual uh, unknown values we are getting uh. the same way if we want to get all the records uh, but we do not want to get the null value records we have to say is not null so this is how it will work and you can see that uh, we even got this null because this is a string value this is not the actual null or unknown value so you see that uh, we have all the records but we do not have those uh, two nulls with the yellow background those were the actual nulls and they are uh, uh, eliminated by this uh, part so you have to say is null or is not null to filter those uh, records and uh, now let me show you in the update statement uh, so here we have a, uh, where we have this null right if i want to really interested if i'm really interested to uh, update this value to the real null or unknown uh, so what i'm going to do i'm going to do uh, null here see and then uh, instead of id i'm going to say country is equal to the null so that null is a string null so if i will do that it is going to convert this null to the unknown or real null uh, this way with the with the yellow background so see i'm updating the uh, country values to null and where we have string null value so let's do this one okay two records are updated select and now you can see that remember here we have id4 and now it is converted to the real null or corrected uh, way how the null should be instead of somebody has put this one before so that was totally wrong if you want to null that out or have the null value for that column you have to say country is equal to null and you don't need to put the single quotes otherwise it will be treated as a value and it will be a string value equal to null this one so you don't want that so we learn from here okay we have to use uh, if we want to filter we will say column name is the null and if we don't want to uh, include them we'll say uh, we'll say just uh, let's say here we say is null it is going to return us all those records with null values see we have four of them and if we want to ignore these null values we say we want to get all the record but uh, not null so i will say is not null so now it is going to return us every record but not these four so see okay thanks very much for watching this video and i hope uh, this video will help uh, and uh, i will see you guys in the next video